Hi, I'm Shemini. And I'm Leon. And we're the, the Rocky Reporters. Reporters. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Our whole family was in Sri Lanka and we were going whale watching. We were both really interested, but Leon was most because he was he had been interested in marine biology for quite a while and he still is. We practically bombarded our parents with questions and eventually my dad suggested that we talk to one of his friends who's an expert at, in whales, the animal, not <laughs> the country. <laughs> That's basically how Rocky Report started. Over the next few years, we did a couple of interviews. It was during COVID-19 when we were like, if only we could get out of the house and travel. Wouldn't it be cool? Yeah, and then it was like, wait a minute, we can't go a mile out of our house. Well, we could go thousands of miles across the globe with a single Zoom call. So it was around July 2020 that Rookie Reporter really started building traction. We've done about 35 interviews altogether and we are now aiming to host some webinars where kids can join and ask questions to the guests. Yeah, in fact, we'll be hosting our first webinar in a couple of weeks. by our guests and that's thanks to the guests themselves. The guests have been a mix of close friends of my parents and from their wider network. All the guests we've had have been really funny and sweet and kind so it hasn't been difficult to talk to them. The other thing that really helps us a lot is that we do a lot of research. We read up on every guest, watched their interviews and even read about their industries and problems they talk about. So when we do the interview, we are usually quite prepared and watching previous interviews our guests have done make us already feel like we know the guests. That helps us a lot. The questions come from research we do on the guests and their industry. We also watch previous interviews the guests may have done and that helps us come up with more questions. We actually do have a few food questions. One, what do you wish you knew when you were our age? Two, were you naughty as a child? Three, if you could press a button and change anything in the world, what would it be? Fun fact, virtually none of our guests were naughty as children. This is something, unfortunately, our parents keep on reminding us of. Oh, and I almost forgot. Another one of our favourite questions to ask our guests is if they can share any top tips on how to convince our parents to get us a pet. Or any kid parents, but we're desperate to get a pet. Almost every reply comes back with the R word. The dreaded R word, which we do not speak of, except for now. Uh, except for now. Responsibility. But I'm pleased to say that, number one, I do have a bit of that. I doubt him, but I have still have a bit of that. I and number two, we've asked that question so many times, we think of wearing our parent, we we're wearing our parents down and are close to getting a pet. Hopefully, not for sure. By the way, pet equals dog. Dog yeah. people. For a favorite person, I can't choose. Each interview feels like my favourite, but for different reasons. And in every interview we get some favourite answers. Though, to be honest, any answers that come back pro, Minecraft, dog or candy generally come back as some of our favourites. Coincidence? We have learned so many things, from the importance of journaling, to being kind, to finding something we love. But I think the biggest lesson that we've learned is that we will inherit 
protect the world from previous generations. And that no one, no one is too young to make a difference. Hmm, who is on our wish list? Oh, there are just so many amazing people out there that I'm surely going to miss some of them. But the few I can remember are Melinda Gates, Bill Gates, Greta Sandberg, Marcus Burson, Ronaldo, Elon Musk, J.K. Rowling, Leonardo DiCaprio, Emma Watson, Shashi Theroux, President Obama, PM Lee, Prime Minister Modi, Jackie Chan. Whoa! The list is so long, we could be at this for hours! Or days! I don't really have a message or advice for other kids, but one piece of advice other guests give us is to continue to ask questions, be curious, and try new things. And join us for our next interviews that will be conducted as webinars. And how are they going to do that? Oh yeah, tell your parents to register on our mailing list to rookieporter.com website. I'm 11 and he's 8, and we've already wanted to be so many different things so far. I'm sure that it's likely to change. The best part of the interviews is that they take us on a voyage of discovery of the various worlds our guests live in, their lives, their passions and their interests. Not just their interests today, but their interests when they were our age. And hopefully going on these voyages in the sea of their mind might just help us chart down our own course, whatever it might be. Our parents help us get the guests on board. We do the research and prepare the questions. If we have things that we can't understand about the guest work, we ask our parents. That almost always happens when we interview a Nobel Prize winner. Hmm, a message for our parents. Listen to you kids, they're much more amazing than you think and smarter. You tell us that you know best, but sometimes we do. Like when it comes to candy. Or video games, Minecraft. Or dogs. But frankly, we are really grateful for them helping us make this happen. It has been such a great experience. And now we want to share it with other kids. A message for parents in general? Wow, I don't have that. But I can tell you what our parents did. Our parents explained everything. They tried to get us to experience as much as possible. And this Rookie Reporter project that we are now opening to all kids is just an extension of that. We haven't found our parts and we, and we don't expect to. This is just a learning journey that we are enjoying. Rookie Reporter started as a family project. But when a TV channel in India broadcasted an interview to a million viewers, we had other kids to ask to participate. We realised that there could be many other children that might to be interested in doing the same thing. Some of my friends came up with questions for our guests and told some of their friends and their friends' friends who we didn't even know. That's why we're expanding the Rookie Reporter project to include webinars where any child can ask some of the most amazing people in the world good, thought out questions. Imagine if every kid could be inspired by some of the most iconic people in the world and they feel they could be like them, they could achieve great things. Wouldn't it be awesome? After the interviews, we discuss them with our parents, our favourite parts and what we've learnt. Sometimes, we write these down as reflections. If we have worked hard enough at the reflections, they make it into our website, rookieporter.com. Bye! Bye.